Okay, I'm Mike with MC Productions and we're going to take some time today to kind of go through some of our uh, different lighting equipment that we have and, and how we use it to uh, enhance uh, live performances and productions. Um, we've got a couple of different fixtures going on in here right now that we have set up in the garage. We're, we're doing some programming uh, for a future show that's coming up. And the kind of the base of all of our lights really starts with our uh, PAR LED lights here. And these are made by Chauvet. Um, they are, they have 12 individual LEDs in them. They have 12 individual channels and can basically duplicate almost any color under the sun uh, minus the black lighting effect. Um, we have eight of these in our arsenal and they, we've, we've hung them from everything from trusses, uh, we've put them on the ground and they're just kind of the general purpose workhorse of all of our lights and they, they give the performance the, the main light sometimes they're up behind for the backlighting um, like I said sometimes they're on the ground shining up it, it depends on the application in the room most important lights that we use are these uh, ADJ sweeper beam quads here on the floor and right now you see I have three of them set up um, if, if this were a small stage, which is what we're trying to mimic here, these would kind of be coming up on your guitarist. This back here would be what I would call the drum set, and uh, this would be kind of coming up, going out into the crowd, usually catching the back of the lead singer, whatnot. Um, you can see also, and I did forget to mention, there are a couple of the uh, LEDs here on the ground also, and these, what we like to do is shine them up with the drum set to give it some color. The, the ADJs are really nice, the sweepers, they have uh, eight individual LEDs on each one. They can rotate basically from ground level to ground level, 180 degrees side to side. Um, they can produce red, green, blue, and white. And there's also tons of chases and strobes and, and lots of other things you can do with them. So they're, they're, they're really versatile in that way. And, and they're also great for if they're shining up at performers, they're, it's easier to control where they're going to be in their eyes. If I'm here, the only spot that really affects me here, I can step back or step forward a much smaller distance than, say, if one of these bars are up in my face. The next piece of equipment, and, and it's one of the most important things, but it's also one of the things that I think that you can overuse too much, is a, a fog or a haze machine. Um, in this case, we've gone with a haze machine. And the reason we like haze is it gives off this kind of environment. We're in a small garage right now, and it's really just putting a little bit of smoke into the air. It's not smoke, but it's, it's, it's a water vapor product. But it's not as thick as fog. You can still see what's going on if you're not breathing it in. But what it does is it really enhances these beams of light. And that's the most important thing. If you have these going, and you don't have anything for them to shine through any medium like the haze, what you're going to get is just some lights that you can't even see. So, really important. Um, the, the next fixture we have that I want to go through, it's over here as well. Um, these here, this is a um, Intimidator 360 IRC. Um, this is also made by Chauvet. The, the nice thing about these fixtures, they have four independent moving heads on them that can do any color under the sun, individually or together. Um, right now I have kind of a green, green orange type blend. But what they do is they, they not only do the heads pivot this way, but the entire fixture, as we'll see in a later, later video, can actually pivot around its axis. So what's nice is they can be mounted this way in the vertical position. They can be mounted upside down in a horizontal position, um, on trusses, any sort of which way. And they're completely controllable as far as any which way you want them to move, as well as even turning them into a spotlight. So they're, they're really versatile too, um, and they really add, in this case, we are, these are actually gonna be shining out on the crowd and, and making them feel more part of the show and enhancing that part of things. Um, the other things we have too are a couple of these here on the floor. These are um, Chauvet um, geysers. And a lot of times what we'll just use these for is just an up light and get a little effect on the ceiling in the bar or whatnot. But if you really want to hit it for an atmospheric effect during a, a, a part of a song that you want some, some boom to, they shoot up um, into the air and they give you the effect. And then with adding um, some color to it, like a red or an orange, 
it does actually look like a pyrotechnic, but the nice thing is, is you don't have any of the risks of that either. And these are also haze based, once again. So if you notice, when these things fire up, and we're in a garage with no ventilation right now, this haze disappears almost immediately. So we go with the quick dissipating haze um, on all our equipment to make sure that the room stays comfortable for everyone, but you still get the effects um, that you're looking for. So next I'm going to go over to um, the iPad and show how we, how we build these shows, how we design them, how they're controlled, and the, the difference it really makes when you see these lights going with the song versus just hearing the song. 